Master the English language. Mixing first and second conditionals with modals. Hello everyone. Welcome to another exciting lesson in our series on English language learning. In today's session, we're diving deeper into conditionals. Specifically, we're going to focus on an advanced topic. Mixed conditionals with modals, and we'll especially concentrate on combining the first and second conditionals with modals. Ready? Let's get started. Before we delve into the mixed conditionals, let's take a quick refresher course on the first and second conditionals. The first conditional is used to express situations that are likely or probable. It has the structure, if plus present simple, will plus base verb. Example, if it rains, we will stay at home. The second conditional is used for hypothetical situations or things that are unlikely to happen. It has the structure, if plus past simple, would, could, might plus base verb. Example, if I had a million dollars, I would buy a house. The use of modals and conditionals can modify the meaning or express various degrees of certainty, permission, or advice. Examples of modals include can, could, may, might, must, shall, should, will, and would. Here's an example. If you eat too much, you might feel sick. Now comes the interesting part. We're going to learn about mixing the first and second conditionals with modals. This can happen when the condition is in the past, but the result is in the present. Here's a structure you might see. If plus past simple, second conditional, modal plus base verb, first conditional. Here's an example to illustrate this. If you had called me, second conditional, we could meet, first conditional, today. The best way to learn is by practicing. Here are some sentences for you to transform using the mixed conditional pattern we've learned today. 1. She didn't wake me up, so I missed the train. If she, blank, I, blank. 2. He didn't study, so he failed the exam. If he, blank, he, blank. 3. They didn't invite her, so she didn't attend the party. If they, blank, she, blank. That wraps up our lesson on mixing the first and second conditionals with modals. It's a bit of a challenging topic, but with consistent practice, you'll master it in no time. Remember, language learning is a journey, and every step, even the smallest one, brings you closer to your goal. Until next time, keep practicing and happy learning.